Prime Minister Malcolm Turnbull's much-hyped Snowy 2.0 expansion has been given the green light, however the scheme will cost at least 50% more than first thought and won't be switched on for at least six years. The government will now officially proceed with the ambitious plan, nine months after the iconic Snowy Mountains scheme emerged as a solution to the country's fragmented and increasingly unreliable energy network. A $29 million feasibility study to be released on Thursday concludes the project is financially and technologically viable, can stabilise wholesale electricity prices, and reduce Australia's reliance on gas as the main backup for when wind and solar farms are out of action. The expansion had a tentative price tag of $2 billion, however Fairfax Media understands the cost has climbed to at least $3 billion not including the estimated $2 billion also needed to upgrade transmissions lines from the mountains into Sydney and Melbourne. The Coalition and Snowy Hydro Limited have always warned the $2 billion estimate was preliminary and subject to the final feasibility study. However the $1 billion cost blowout will raise questions whether taxpayers would get better value from emerging battery technology like the type coming online in South Australia. Mr Turnbull said the expansion was affordable and would future-proof Australia's electricity grid. It will not only deliver a more affordable and reliable energy system but will also generate jobs and grow our economy. The Prime Minister said the project would create as many as 5,000 direct and indirect jobs over the six-year construction period, which would wrap up in 2024. In a new development, Snowy Hydro Limited will also announce on Thursday it can finance the project itself using savings and borrowings, meaning it won't be directly funded by the taxpayer out of the federal budget. The company, which last financial year made a $310 million profit, is 58% owned by New South Wales, 29% by Victoria and 13% by the Commonwealth. Mr Turnbull had flagged a federal buyout of the company but those plans have stalled. The cost of the new transmissions lines is expected to be borne by power distributors and in turn, consumers. Pumped hydro works by like a giant battery by using electricity during times of low demand, often in the middle of the night, to push water uphill so that when demand is high it can be released downhill through turbines to create quick and reliable electricity. Snowy 2.0 would increase generation capacity by 2,000 MW, a 50% increase on the existing scheme's generation capacity and enough to power hundreds of thousands of homes and businesses. It requires the construction of a 26-kilometre tunnel linking the Tatagara Reservoir to Talbingo Reservoir. The tunnel would be bigger than the Sydney Harbour Crossing and the Melbourne Metro Project. Previous estimates have suggested enough rubble to fill 4,000 Olympic swimming pools will need to be excavated to make way for the tunnel and a cavern to house a new power station. The plant would be built up to 800 metres underground.